I want to send greetings to the first European Pragmatism Conference, which will take place early next week, just a few days after I record these greetings. Uh, it gives me great pleasure uh, to be able to, to do this, to be able to share my love of pragmatism with other students of pragmatism uh, far away. In my first, my one little book on pragmatism, Pragmatismo una questione aperta, uh, was published, was, consisted of lectures given here in Rome, that is there in Rome, where you are, in 1992. And at the end of that, the very end of the third lecture, I wrote uh, that philosophy was at that time in danger of an oscillation between a linguistic idealism, which is largely a fashionable put-on, and I referred here to deconstruction and to Rorty and others, and a self-refuting scientism. And I said about that book that I hope to have made it plausible that there's a better alternative and to have inspired you to explore that alternative further. And the very existence of this conference shows that in Europe, and in fact in Rome, to the, as you uh, see this message, if it's broadcast, uh, if it's shown on a screen, projected, that you are exploring that alternative further. I would just like to say a little word about my own pragmatist heritage, so to speak. In fact, the teacher, the professor at the University of Pennsylvania, my alma mater, who uh, attracted me to the philosophy department, uh, was a pragmatist, uh, C. West Churchman. But, uh, he later left philosophy for operations research, sadly, but he was a brilliant philosopher. And uh, his teacher was E.A. Singer, Jr., who you may not have heard of, but who wrote some beautiful books in the 1920s. And his teacher, Singer's teacher, was none other than William James. So I am a, so to speak, a... So Singer was a student of William James, that makes Churchman a grand student of William James, and that makes me a grand, grand student of William James. That's my pragmatist lineage. And one reason I speak of, I'm so happy to see uh, pragmat interest in pragmatism reviving and spreading is that pragmatism has such unbelievable riches and I wonder sometimes why exactly it ceased to be paid much attention to in its own country, the United States, perhaps because uh, some of its greatest riches are in areas that the Logical positivists didn't want to touch, and even and when there came a reaction, came a, 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 to be against logical positivism, a reaction which I had a part. We who reacted against logical positivism failed at the beginning for a long time to talk about the pragmatists. We rather spent our time criticizing uh, our own te our own positivist teachers like Carnap and Reichenbach, rather than saying, and by the way, all this was said to some extent before by philosophers called William James, C.S. Peirce, and John Dewey. Among the riches of pragmatism are new ideas about fact and value, in particular the rejection of the positivist dichotomy between fact and value, the rejection of the dichotomy between theory and observation, the, the wonderful writings on aesthetics, especially Dewey's great book on aesthetics, and a revival interest in direct realism, and much else. And I'm, uh, I'm glad to take a little bit of part in the celebration of the heritage of pragmatism in, Euro in Europe by sending this greeting. This conference, which will take place early next week, just a few days after I record these greetings. Uh, it gives me great pleasure uh, to be able to to do this, to be able to share my love of pragmatism with other students of pragmatism uh, far away. In my first, my one little book on pragmatism, Pragmatismo una questione aperta, uh, was published, was, consisted of lectures given here in Rome, that is there in Rome, where you are, in 1992. 
And at the end of that, the very end of some conference, which will take place early next week, just a few days after I record these greetings. Uh, it gives me great pleasure uh, to be able to, to do this, to be able to share my love of pragmatism with other students of pragmatism uh, far away. It, my first, my one little book on pragmatism, Pragmatismo una questione aperta, uh, was published, was, consisted of lectures given here in Rome, that is there in Rome, where you are, in 1992. And at the end of that, the very end 